how to check if your PC or laptop has been hacked. In this video, I'm going to show you several different steps you can go through so you can know if your PC has been hacked. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So the first thing I would do is simply run a Windows Defender offline scan. And we can quickly do that by right clicking the Windows Start button in the taskbar and then selecting settings. Once in the settings, select privacy and security. And then we just want to select Windows security at the top and then virus and threat protection. From there, just select scan options and then select Windows Defender offline scan right here. So this is going to reboot your computer and before it actually loads everything, it's going to check to make sure just in case you have anything malicious that is hiding from your system scanning it. So go ahead and select that, select scan now, it'll reboot your computer and once it's done scanning, it'll let you know if the threat has been detected and it'll go through the process of helping you remove it. Now if you ran the Windows Defender offline scan but you still are noticing weird things on your computer and you want to continue checking for a virus or malicious software on your computer, the next thing I would do is simply right click Windows Start button down here, select Run and then type MRT. Go ahead and select OK. As you can see, the Microsoft Windows malicious software removal tool will open up if when you're opening it ask if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device select yes this is a default Microsoft app so allow it so that it can actually clean up your system once it's open select next then select full scan and then next again go ahead and allow it to scan this can take an hour several hours depending on how many files you have in your computer but go ahead and allow it to complete scanning and you'll see if there's anything infected right here now this is different from Windows Defender because rather than being like Windows Defender where it is meant to prevent items from installing to your computer that might be malicious this tool is actually meant to remove malicious software if you think something's there so it's just another layer of defense that Microsoft has given us. So while that's scanning, let's check some other areas of our computer to see if it's been hacked. So go down to the Windows Start button again, right click it, select Run, and this time we're going to be Enter Net PLWIZ. Select OK. This will bring up user accounts so you can see all the different user accounts that are currently on your PC or laptop. Some malicious software will create its own account so that it can be further undetected. If you notice any accounts you didn't create, I recommend selecting them and selecting remove, or you can select properties to learn more about them. Maybe somebody else in your family created them, but if it's not the one that you currently logged into and you never use it, you might as well remove it. Once you've done that, let's go through the software that's installed on your computer and make sure that there's nothing there that's malicious or that you shouldn't have on your computer. So first, select the Windows Start button and then just type Startup and select Startup Apps. This will open up the settings on your computer. Once you get in here, all we need to do is look through the list of apps and look for anything that maybe you didn't install or that looks malicious and go ahead and toggle it off. Now the EA app is not malicious, but I don't want that to start up every time I turn on my computer. Some malicious software will use this setting so that it can ensure that it's running as soon as you turn on your computer. So you just want to go through this list and make sure that there's nothing in here that looks out of place or weird or that you didn't install. A lot of these are going to be default apps that came with your computer and they're perfectly fine. And if you're curious about anything, look up the name on Google and you should get a nice explanation. Once you've gone through the startup apps, go ahead and select apps in the top menu up here and then installed apps. And then here we'll see a list of all the different apps that we currently have installed on our computer. So I recommend going through this list. If you see anything that you did not install that you don't want on your computer, go ahead and uninstall it. To uninstall it, all you need to do is select the three dots to the right of it and then select uninstall and then confirm you want to uninstall it and then it will go through the process of uninstalling that app. Once you've gone through that process, we can go back to the Windows malicious software removal tool. Go ahead and let that finish. Once that's finished, if any infections are found, it'll give you the process of removing that infection based on the type of infection that it is. If nothing's found, I recommend rebooting your computer, and most likely after following those steps, your computer has not been hacked. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel.